Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna help you fix Snapchat if it keeps crashing on you. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. If you're opening, let's say, let's open up Snapchat, and we keep going, you know, sending messages, all that stuff, and then two, three, five, ten seconds later, it crashes on you, and then you need to open it again. I'll walk you through a few different ways that you can make sure that it's not crashing on you anymore. The first thing that we'll do is head out of here and into Safari or Chrome or whatever, and we'll type in speed test. And we'll want to run this quick speed test to make sure that we have a good internet connection. If it's anything over five or 10 megabytes per second, then it's fast enough to be able to run Snapchat and not have it crash on you or not have any issues or anything. If it's too slow, say your internet is running really slow, then you can always swipe down from the top right and just toggle off your Wi-Fi so that you switch from Wi-Fi over to your cellular network. And that sometimes can be faster and cause Snapchat to run a little bit smoother at that point. Now, the next thing, if that doesn't fix the issue, is to head into Snapchat and let's tap the profile icon at the top left here. And then the gear setting at the top right. And we'll scroll down until we get to account actions. You can see clear cache. We'll want to tap that and hit clear. So we'll want to clear all of the cache within Snapchat itself. Because potentially if that's a huge number, if Snapchat is, has a really big cache, that can be bogging down your iPhone and really kind of slow down everything and cause it to crash. So let's clear that cache and then open it back up, see if it works, see if it's still crashing on you. If it's still crashing on you, the very last step that you can do is let's go over and go into settings here and scroll down until you get to general and then iPhone storage. Now, again, we'll scroll down until we find Snapchat here. Oh. We'll find Snapchat and then we'll offload that app. And then when it's ready, we'll reinstall that app. Now what this does is it kind of resets the core system files within the Snapchat app itself, but it leaves your login, your DMs, your drafts, your snaps, all that stuff. And it keeps all that information, but it kind of resets the core system files of Snapchat itself. And then once Snapchat is reloaded, it should be working at that point. So you can see it's loading up a brand new version of Snapchat at this point. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.